Hey guys, I had actually re done three minutes of a video, right, okay, and I was going to put you on pause and go and get something to bring it back to show you. <laughs> Guess who hit the stop button? Yeah. <sighs> it's, that's just things as they're going at the moment. So, anyway, let's rehash the first three minutes and then we'll get on to the rest of it. <laughs> um, so, sorry I've been MIA, just... You, I've been getting you doing a lot of uni work. Um, there's uh, my ethics approval had to be in, and it was like, you know, it was a lot of work to get done. But I got it done, and I got my ethics back, um, and with very little changes. I had a few changes to make, and um, so I've been working on that the last couple of days, and I actually got it submitted to again today. So that's really, really good. I'm really chuffed with that. Um, what else? I've had a, I had a friend here at the weekend, so that was that was really nice just to spend time with her and just enjoy you know time together. Um, but then it's just been a case of rest. I've been really tired again and just thinking that I just need the rest. So I haven't. I thought all superfluous things have gone. Than where I had gone at that point, it was like no, just rest. Do what I need to do and live my life that way. Um, so that's fine. So. The chronic fatigue is is a definite it has been yes this is a post viral chronic fatigue syndrome I have so and I need to just adapt my life and I get to do, I do graduated exercise do what I can and as much as I can without draining my my sort of energy levels uh, try and keep my energy levels at fifty percent so that's fine um, so it may mean that I'm hoping that I can still continue to keep doing you know videos maybe every week if I can. If not, I apologise and I will just do them you know, as and when I have the energy to do them. Um, I hope you'll stick with me. If you decide no, I'd rather I come on, on YouTube and BookTube because I want to see the people that I want to watch making videos as much as possible. And you decide to leave, then that's fine. I totally understand that. Um, I'll be sorry to see you go, but I, as I say, I totally understand that at the moment. There are days when, you know, it's like I'm not getting up till 10, 11 o'clock in the morning because I just can't. Um, I'm just too tired and I'm sleeping till that time. Um, and as a university has to take priority. I need to get, I want my PhD. I am determined to get it and that is my focus. This I love doing, but I need to just make sure that my energy levels are used for that and for other things that, you know, seeing my friends and my family. <clears throat> they are sort of the the main things. Um, so if I go to MIA again for a couple of weeks or whatever, I apologise. Hopefully I won't, but we'll wait and see. Anyway, that's, hey, that's not bad. That's me filled up virtually three minutes, so I think we've got to almost where we were. But So what have I been reading? Um, I have been reading Cozy Mysteries. I've got into this series that one of my friends got me into. It's set in a bakery. And this girl called Lexi runs a bakery. She's got a friend called Cassie who helps her. Um, and you know, in the first book something happens. Obviously, I've read the second book, something else happens. Um, they're by Leanne Dobbs, I think her name is, and they are really good. They're like just really nice, easy read, cozy mysteries. So what I will do is I'll put the a link to them um, in the description bar down below because I got them for 99 pence on Amazon. It was like a box set of one book, books one to four. So I will, if it's still the deal, I'll put it down in the in the bar down below so you can have a look and see what it, what it's about. I have also been reading um, Invasion of the Tearling. Um, mm, I'm hitting a snag with that one. In that I read the first book, Fate of the, no Queen of the Tearling, like last year, and really really enjoyed it. But I haven't obviously read the second one till now, and I don't know whether I've left too much time between the two. In that I'm enjoying it, but kind of not enjoying it. I'm finding it very very hard to get back into it. I don't know whether it's just because of the time gap, because I'm not exactly brilliantly wide awake. Um, so I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to continue with it just now, or whether to shelve it and put it as a, a DNF for the moment, and then go back to it at some other point in time, and maybe try marathon. I may have to go back to read the first one, and then sort of kind of marathon the the next two. I don't know. Um, but I have also started today. My buddy read with Amanda over at Amanda Reads. We are reading Elsewhere by Gabriella Zevin. 
I am on page 22 so far and I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. It's not exactly the... The subject matter is sad, but the way it's written is really, really well done. And I think it's going to be a very insightful book um, by the time it's finished. So yes, I'm enjoying that one. What else have I been doing? Well, I have been doing a lot more cross-stitch. It seems to be that my brain can cope with that and that I can do it and I don't have to think. So we are making progress. So there you go. That's what we've got so far. Um, I'm hoping to get that finished, you know, within the next, what, couple of months, I would hope. Um, maybe even by the end of June, which would be nice. Or beginning of June. No, I think beginning of June is a bit too much, but I think maybe by middle to the end of June that should be finished, which would be good. Uh, what else has been happening in my life? Not a lot, really. <laughs> you know, as I say, it's just I sleep when I need to sleep. It's like I take naps now. I'm, you know, it's like middle of the afternoon and Fiona's napping for an hour and a half. It's like, yeah, okay, fine. So, but yeah, uni's going well. Um, and sorority, um, we had a really nice event last week. We had afternoon tea in a local hotel in Stirling and then afterwards we had our passing over ceremony where sisters go from being sisters in the sorority chapter to ladies of the alumni chapter chapter we have just started the alumni chapter so this was kind of the, the inaugural passing ceremony and it was just really really nice it was beautiful to sort of have like sisters moving on with their lives because they're graduating from uni and they're going to become part they will become the alumni chapter and stuff so it was really really nice to do um so yeah i think everybody enjoyed it the afternoon afternoon tea was lovely um and yeah i wore a dress uh -huh. yeah i wore a dress hey that's where good i know i know wore a dress i have a dress in my wardrobe so that's fun um but yeah that's it guys that's been kind of my life Sorry, it's not exactly riveting and boring. And also riveting and exciting, it is boring. Well, not, maybe not boring, but you know what I mean. But that's it for this video. I am going down to Barter Books on Thursday. I'm taking a day off and going down to Barter Books with my mum and dad to return, well, to put some books in and hopefully come back with some books. Uh, what I will do is I will ask their permission while I'm there to, to video. So hopefully you might get kind of a vlog type video from Barter Books um, this week uh, instead of me rambling on. Anyway, this is it. Definitely this video is going to finish in the next half, an, half a minute. So please let me know down below what you're reading um, and what you've been doing. It'd be really nice to, to hear from you. And as I say, I will hopefully see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.